Welcome today, I'm gonna to talk about a conversation I overheard when I was at the gym today and how I can tell that this woman is gonna make herself and already is making herself extremely physically sick. You see, there are word patterns that we use and the way that we hold negative emotion in the body that can create physical symptoms. So there's a few things to look out for. First, I'm gonna run you the showreel. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sitting there working out today, right? And this woman comes in and she's talking to this guy and she's like, you would not believe it. And she's using this very angry voice. And she's like, my mom's been dating this woman for many years and she's a user. She's a taker. It makes me sick to my stomach. And the more she talked and the more she talked about how she felt about it in her body. Have you ever had an emotional situation that you could feel in your body? You see, when we get worked up emotionally, it actually creates physical symptoms. In other words, we have tension or we have pain or we have stiffness or we have dissociation. We have something that shows up in our body because it's trapped in our nervous system. It's moving through our nervous system. Now, emotions are supposed to be energy in motion. So how do we allow these emotions to move through and let go? Wouldn't you like to learn how when you're feeling this way and you start feeling tension in your stomach because you're upset, you can easily and effectively let it go? So stay tuned. We're going to keep talking about emotional freedom techniques and how you can do that for yourself. But first, I want to also continue with my story. So this woman goes on to say about how people like this make her sick. Isn't it interesting? that terminology, people like this make me sick. Now, when we start identifying with a belief and a result, this is what we are teaching our unconscious mind. One of the prime directives of the unconscious mind is to keep us safe in whatever way that is. In fact, in spite of ourselves and our actual true health. So if we keep saying things like, I know these chips are gonna kill me someday, they actually will because you're telling your unconscious mind that. Your unconscious mind may also have learned that from childhood. Have you ever heard somebody say something? Like maybe your mom said something when you were young, or your dad said something, or your neighbor said something, and you found yourself saying the same thing when you're older? See, that's because your unconscious mind is picking up on these belief systems and bringing them in to your life when you're older. So maybe you're doing something that they used to do. You're saying something that they used to say. You have similar word patterns or stances because your unconscious mind has decided that this is how it keeps you safe and this is how one is supposed to act. So when we identify with something like people like X make me sick, what we're actually telling our unconscious minds is that every time we run into somebody like that, we should get more sick. Wouldn't you rather learn how to have a little bit of compassion and empathy or even neutrality around those people? So instead of feeling triggered and feeling like they're bothering you and making you sick, you can just observe like, wow, that person's quite a taker. My boundary is I'm not going to interact with them. Or my boundary is I'm not going to let that impact me and I'm going to move on from my own health and safety. Wouldn't that be so much better? It's kind of like forgiving somebody. I don't forgive somebody for them. What they may have done is still wrong. However, if I'm hanging on to the anger, if I'm hanging on to the emotion, it's my body that's getting sick. So I forgive others for me, not for them. So to continue and finish off this story, as this woman finished and finished telling her story and how awful this woman was from taking so much from her mom and how it was this lifelong relationship and her mom just couldn't see how this woman was taking from her and how angry it made her. She finished up her story and started kind of stomping off and the guy goes, well, I hope you have a better day. And she goes, I doubt it. Now that is a choice. You see, we get to choose whether to hang on to emotions or not. Did you know that our mind starts releasing emotions within five to 10 seconds of the time that we feel them? 
in fact, that we are meant to discharge emotions from their body. Like if you get a dog upset, after the danger's gone, he just goes and runs around. If you're attack if a gazelle is attacked, not you, if a gazelle is attacked by a lion, after it's back in safety, it shakes it all off from its nervous system. It lets it go. Humans are the only ones that choose to trap the emotion and trap that anger, that frustration in our bodies by ruminating and by allowing our unconscious minds to go over it over and over and over again. So instead of having this anger, this frustration, and these emotions that no longer serve you, wouldn't it be so much better for you to let it go? That's why it's so important to work with your emotional health. You can find videos on how to do emotional freedom techniques tapping here. Do hypnosis, see a counselor, see a therapist. Most beneficial are somatic therapies. Write it out, throw eggs at trees, go for a run and scream it out, but let it go. Because wouldn't you rather be healthy? Wouldn't you rather be free and neutral than hanging on and actually saying words that are teaching your body to be ill, to be unhappy, and to be angry? After all, this woman's mom got to make her choice. This other person who was a user probably was doing it out of her own sense of safety or maybe didn't even realize she was being perceived as a user by thinking about these things in a different way and allowing them to become neutral for us, we get to find forgiveness. We get to find health and we get to have freedom. So I wish that for you. You are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable. Namaste.